and welcome back to Piston Heads. This is the show where we find budget cars and help you guys decide which cars for very cheap prices can match the performance of those brand new cars coming out and we'll also review those brand new cars for you each week around our test track. So this week's challenge is Kyle's challenge so he's going to explain it to you. Hey everyone, how's it going? Camco 57 here, go check out my channel link in the description. Anyway, so today... <laughs> Cheaty plug. Anyway, so today, um, the challenge is the 1010 challenge. You may be wondering what the 1010 challenge is. Well, basically, it's getting a car off of Southern San Andreas, because they're the only cars that do it for our budget, that is either $10,000 or under. Now we can get them cars, and then once we've got them, we've got the stock variants that we can discuss about and then we're going to modify them for a budget of 10,000. Now, if you buy a car for under 10,000, say 9,000, you get whatever you haven't spent on the car to modify. So you'll get whatever you've not spent, say 9,000 on a car, you'll get 11,000 to modify. So that's how the challenge goes. This challenge is just to let you guys, who maybe are starting or just want a challenge, or just want to see what cars would look like when they're cheap, this is just to help you guys understand what these cars would be like if you bought them cheap and modified them cheap. So what we're going to go and do is we're going to go get our cars, modify them, and meet you guys down at the airport. Okay, uh, so we're here with uh, both our cars. Um, Kyle has brought a fluorescent orange Picador. Do you want to tell us about this car, Kyle? It's orange. <laughs> Uh, uh, I can moment, see that, uh, yeah. <laughs> at the moment, it's um, <coughs> obviously fully stocked, so we're going to do the first challenge in stock. And the Picador was 9,000, I believe, so um, that's obviously going to give me a bit more to spend. Um, mm -hmm. 1,000 1, worth. But um, the Picador is obviously a muscle car with a Picador. Well, it's more, of a, so it's more of a muscle truck, I would say. Well, yeah, exactly. It, it's got it's got a um, a nice area here to put things in if this was real life. But I can uh, I can put my beer cans but, in the back here. That's true. Yep. It's on the way here, driving here. It is actually ooh, I punched. It's actually quite a nice drive. It's got it's not got massive amounts of speed, but it doesn't spin out. It's got what a muscle car should have. I believe, but it's not. Quite I believe the Picador is four wheel drive as well. Oh, is it really? I think so, yeah. Um, no, it's more I actually own one of these in my garage, <laughs> so uh, pretty sure it's four-wheel drive. So a very nice car, and uh, then we've got my car over here. I have brought out another muscle car, so uh, we're both in muscle cars. Uh, I've got the Imponte Ruiner. Excuse the paintwork. Um, I did not... Um, choose this paint job this was just sort of what it came with um, but we've got the gold on the black it's very ugly but I'm gonna be changing that when we go and upgrade our cars um, it's a muscle car it says it's got a like 400 cubic inch engine that should put out like 300 something horsepower um, that is just totally not true this car <laughs> it's fast compared to last week's um, Rancher, that was a very slow car. Oops. Car's just fixing my face for me. <laughs> um, yeah, that was a very slow vehicle. Uh, this is a little bit faster, but it's still not that fast, so. Uh, what are you doing to your car? Repairing it. By knocking headlights out. I'll knock you out in a minute. Okay, so uh, we've got our first cars. We're down here at the airport at the um, test track. So what we're going to do real quick is go to the starting line of the test track. We're going to be doing one. Are we going to be doing one lap each, or yep. are we going to do a test lap? We'll do. We'll, we'll probably do one lap each. Um, record recording timing it to see how fast we can do it stock and then once we've had it upgraded and um, keeping keeping note keeping <laughs> give me so much cuts in this keep in mind that the um doing the paint jobs for these 
will not cost any additional money towards it because yeah. they, they are just aesthetic. Anything aesthetic will not count towards our budget. And yeah, we'll do one lap stock, see what time we can get and see who can beat their personal time when it's upgraded. So back to you, Troy. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go and head over to the starting line. We'll meet you over there and we're go, both going to do our time laps. So uh, yeah, we'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we're down at the test track. Kyle is lined up, ready for his lap. We've both just had a practice lap, um, so we both know the course. I'm going to start Kyle off with a flare, and I'm going to time it on my phone, and basically whoever gets the fastest lap will win. So I'm going to shoot the flare, and when the flare lands, that's when you go, okay? Okay. There we go. So as soon as you hit, see the flare hit the ground, there we go. And Kyle is off. I must say, this track is a very, um, a very good course for trying to kind of learn to do a lot of turns in a lot of vehicles like these. Because, because even even if you even if you want to do some off roading in some of them, um, there is quite a bit of grass at the airport as well to be able to do that. So if you guys want to use this track, I guess um, you can. Uh, I think you can just type in on the Rockstar mode, can you? Um, on the website. If you go uh, follow me on the social club, um, follow my social club page, Moldyworm four one nine seven five. It'll come up, it'll show all of the races I've made, and you'll see on there it'll say the Piston Heads test track. You just have to download that, and then you just have to go to jobs, and then just custom jobs, and you'll be able to play it from there. Yeah, well, coming up to the straight now, I think I've done pretty well for um, this lap at the moment. I am. Um, I hope you I get a good time. You are at the one fifteen mark now. One fifteen. That's not too bad for stock, to be fair. Saying that we're doing a full lap around the race course. Race course. That, that yeah, is that yeah, is a well. very good time. I think I'm going to get outdone by the ruiner here. But I guess we'll have to see. Right, oh, coming, coming up on the finish up line. To the end. Finish line right now. And that and is across the line. That that was a very solid lap there. Uh, do you want to know your time now, or do you want me to tell you after I've done my lap? We can uh, we can wait until the end. Well, we'll wait till I've done my lap, and then uh, yeah. So uh, I'm gonna get lined up right now, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna do my lap. So coming back onto the starting line, we have Troy in his Ruiner. Sadly, not the Ruiner 2000. The, the Ruin of 2000 Ruin. was a little bit out of the 10 grand budget, um, <laughs> Just a so little bit. I couldn't so quite I'm afford gonna, that. I'm going to be doing this good, the good old fashioned grenade way, I'm going to lob a grenade and as soon as it explodes, um, will you be ready to go Troy? Yes, I'm ready to go. Well, so I will see you on the other side. Grenade has been thrown. And off we go. Oh! We a, got a bit of a lift off the front end there. <laughs> Coming into the first corner, not really hitting that apex. <laughs> into the second corner there. A bit of a slide from the back end of the ruiner there. That was not the greatest corner. I did use a bit of handbrake just to help me get around the corner. Into the first hairpin and straight onto the second hairpin almost clips the concrete pillar thing there and then onto the little straight and into that third chicane keeping in tight on the apex into the fly through a little bit of a lift on the way out there coming into the second chicane a little bit on the grass there front end came up kissing the apex nicely Onto the final hairpin and onto the home stretch now. Coming into the last couple of corners, keeping it nice and tight through the package stalls. Onto the last straight. 
and coming into the final left hander a little bit of a slide there from the room bit out wide and across the line and there we are time is finished would you like to know your time now or do you want to wait until the we get back <sighs> out of the um, race area no i'll have my time now we'll 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 give our We'll give so our time to each other. For your for Troy's run in the Ruiner, we have a nice one minute twenty six seconds. Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. Um, well, you can see based off my uh, reaction there uh, that Kyle's is a little bit slow, but not far off. Kyle, you did a one minute thirty four one seven. That Oh, that is not far off. Considering that is that is not far no, off. No, that's that's still very good. Considering how different the cars are, I think mine is a little bit more aerodynamic than yours. Um, yeah, definitely. I don't know about the power, but we'll see how the two cars vary and differentiate once the upgrades have been put onto the cars. Obviously, I have a one thousand dollar advantage over you, but. That probably won't be a lot of a difference. As far as engine upgrades go, that's probably not going to do much. So we're going to go and head over to the custom shop right now. Kyle's got 11 grand to spend on his car. I've only got 10 grand. So we're going to throw on the upgrades and see what we can do when we come back to the track. Uh, so we're, guy we're back, guys. Uh, we've both upgraded our cars. Uh, it has turned night time because we both took that long upgrading. Um, Kyle, do you want to talk us through your modifications first? Yeah, sure, can do. So, obviously I started off with that um, 11k, which is a 1000 bonus compared to what Troy had had. Wasn't, wasn't actually needed at all, because I did finish with $1,025 to spare. So without the bonus, I would have just had $25 left, so I would have had enough to buy a Coke. But, um, if we <laughs> if we go into if we go into what modifications it has specifically, um, it has oh I think it's only level two level and um, transmission on it. No engine upgrades have been done to it because I I, I thought okay. what's the what's the point having a high top speed if you can't get it up to that speed in the time for the turn? So I just went for straight transmission okay. to get it up to its top speed that it is standard. And then also to actually um, try and negate that, I got some brakes. So I think it was just level one brakes, which would be $2,375 to make it so if I do go too fast, I can brake easily. Driving here, it was brilliant testing it. And that was 7,600 spent on the transmission. So I had just barely enough money left. But yeah, that's all the, that's all the upgrades I've done. What about you, Troy? Um, well, just uh, to carry on on your car for a second, I see you've kept the stock wheels, which I've kept the stock wheels on mine, and you've also kept the orange paint work, but you've gone for I a pearlescent. I the orange. I've gone for a dark orange. Originally it was just standard orange, but I decided to go for sunrise orange, because I, I just wanted it to have that darker, kind of meaner look. Yeah, it looks really nice. So, as I mentioned on mine, I've kept the stock tyres. I went for this nice matte black with the yellow. Uh, I saw I was scrolling through the paints and I saw the yellow it looked really nice. So um, I've gone for a race car kind of vibe with this. So I had a 10 grand budget. I didn't really go for the transmission approach like Kyle did. I just went balls the wall crazy. I've got a level four engine on this, which cost me six grand. Oof. So it was pretty cheap actually, I was quite surprised with that. I couldn't afford a transmission upgrade and I couldn't afford brakes, so I've, I've left the brakes off. Um, the hood was, I think, uh, it was about 500, um, 500 quid. Uh, I've gone for a spoiler as well, which was also 500 quid, I think. I can't actually remember. Uh, I ended up with a grand left over from my modifications. I've gone for the uh, scoop on the hood for aerodynamics, obviously. And I went for the spoiler for some uh, added downforce on the car. 
and I also it on the lower suspension so it's on the I think it's race suspension so uh, it's as low as we could get it so uh, yeah I've just tried to go for a nice race car streamlined sort of vibe with this and then I've just whacked on as much power as I could that was so, my incentive sorry. basically yeah so in terms of modifications for each individual car if you're not staying to the 10,000 like we are a lot more modifications can be done to the Ruiner definitely yeah the of... Ruiner has uh, it's got two bumper options so you can have a, an extended chin or you can have the extended chin with the oil cooler uh, uh, it doesn't have any rear bumpers but it does have exhausts you can put a crazy spoiler on and yep. yeah but where with mine there's not a lot that you can do I'm pretty sure there's actually yeah. pra practically nothing you can do to it I don't think there's so, any visual customization on the Picador except wheels and paint job but yeah. I think so it looks quite nice as it is it, it looks nice yeah because it's stiff it's a it's a muscle truck it's, it's not not anything yeah. that, you, that you can see a lot so in terms of in terms of looks the Ruiner would definitely have it but I guess in this next in this next race it is 1-0 to try at the moment so we'll see if I can redeem myself with the Picador so we'll see you on the yeah. next track Okay, so we're back at the track. Kyle's lined up for his uh, final lap with the mods on this time. Um, we don't need a warm-up lap, so I'm going to set Kyle off with the grenade. I'm not going to throw it at his car. And uh, yeah, when the grenade explodes, you'll go. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready indeed. Oh, oh shit. Brad, let's try that again. Um, <laughs> so are you ready? <laughs> yep, I am ready. To not get blown up again. Hey, there, there we, we go. go. <laughs> and he's off. So, obviously in other muscle cars, so the Dominator, or maybe the Ruiner does it as well, but in muscle cars as such as this, of the Picador, you don't really need to worry about once you do a handbrake set off of the actual front end lifting up because even though this hasn't been upgraded engine wise it doesn't really lift up a lot like even upgraded now I have not needed to do a lot of um, I have, I have not needed to control it as much as you would say with a dominator because the dominator just off of start would do that quite uh, consistently but with this it's actually kind of a nice drive not having to control as much and obviously with the terrible driving because of no engine upgrades and no um, full transmission and stuff like that it's not actually having to like control as much power so it's more of a Sunday driver type of thing so coming up to this left turn here this this one is probably one of the tightest ones uh, in the and you're coming race. up to the one minute mark there we have it that is the one minute one minute mark that's uh that's actually quite I, I don't think there's much of a um, much of a difference to be fair I, I think engine upgrades would have been the way to go well, we'll definitely see that. I can just see you in the distance coming up to that final straight section now. Ready to come round the last of the turns. You're definitely going to be faster than your last time. Coming up to the finish line and across the line. I can confirm you were faster than you were last okay. time. I won't tell you what your time is, but I will say you were faster than last time. So uh, I'm going to get lined up for my run, and we're going to see how we go. So, we are back here with Troy doing his run in his yellow Ruiner. How are you feeling about this? Uh, I'm feeling quite confident. After you said engine upgrades were the way to go, uh, that made me feel a lot more confident, because I've actually got engine upgrades. So, yeah, you yeah we'll just see how it goes. So hopefully that will be the um, better way to go. I so haven't I upgraded we'll my brakes though, which you did do, so stopping one. stopping yep. will be a bit more um will you be a bit more interesting. Yeah, With the power but no brakes, it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, definitely. So you ready for your your uh, I am ready. Lap? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Well when the grenade explodes, you will be off. 
And he's off. Off to quite a nice start. Actually getting up to that speed is the most important part of the first turn. Coming into that first turn, a little bit on the grass. Oh, the um, added power is nice, but having no brakes is not great. I'm going to have to jump very early on the brakes if I want to get it stopped in time. Coming up to the second chicane now. Very wide out there. I have got a lot of understeer in this car. Uh, mainly due to those brakes coming into that second chicane the brakes are not doing me well I wish I had upgraded them but coming up to the second chicane now a little bit on the apex there not too bad coming out of the chicane now and onto the final hairpin turn onto the main straight this is where I can use them engine upgrades at the minute mark now Though you can obviously see a massive improvement in the speed compared to um, what the picket off do. Coming into the final turn now, running very wide out of there and across the line. That was um, definitely an improvement. That was definitely an improvement from your uh, from your last one. Not by much though. Not by much. Okay. No. Um, so. Would do you, you want your do you want your time then? Yeah, we can do. You definitely improved from your time last time. But you but you were still slower than me on my first run. I will just say that. You got right, a okay. 130.71. Ooh. So you were pretty much 6 seconds faster than you were on the uh, on the previous run. Yeah, well, f funny you should say that because um, on yours, so your first ever run was a minute 26. One minute 26 seconds was your stock run. But then here we see we've knocked off se seven seconds and got one minute 19 seconds. One minute so 19 seven. seconds? Yep, that's seven seconds faster for the Imponte Ruiner. So overall, you are the winner of this challenge here, and obviously you've had you've had the best improvement of a yeah, one so... second. I'm pretty sure. So overall, the winner is Troy on the three. So that's that's just showing what difference it makes between these two cars, two very different cars put to the test. Mine was a little bit more expensive than Kyle's. Uh, for that extra grand, you can totally trump your opponents, as long as they're in a picador. Um, <laughs> also, we've learned if you want to um, go really fast, fast, then definitely make sure you put on engine upgrades and not just transmission. If you want to go really fast, then put both of them on. Uh, but if you're on a budget like we were, always go for those engine upgrades. And make sure you upgrade the brakes as well, because although I had the power, you'll have seen a couple of corners there. I was um, struggling for turning just a little bit. Yeah. But with that, back to the studio. So guys, we're back in the studio. I'm here both of us back here and as you can see we've got the ruiner over on the show here because that is the winner of the competition sadly I couldn't quite keep up to the time that the ruiner could but nonetheless it has been a good challenge and that just shows you guys that transmission is not as good as engine if you're doing it separate you always want to go for more engine than you want to go for transmission as we've seen but definitely include brakes because as you saw in Troy's half of it he was crashing into things and that is not what we need when we're trying to get the best lap. So that's going to be everything for today. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Remember to hit the like and comment down below. Visit my channel if you want to see stuff like this and obviously just subscribe if you've not. Troy is here ready to say goodbye. So if you'd like to go there Troy, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching guys. Yeah, as Kyle's mentioned, I'll leave a link in the description to his channel if you want to go and check that out. But thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out guys.